The diamond crystal is first placed on the sarin machine. The sarin machine is used throughout the diamond industry for the mapping of both rough and polished material. It provides the diamond cutter with the visuals needed to determine the cutting pattern to yield the largest diamond while at the same time the highest clarity. At this time, the blocker analyzes the information received from the sarin machine and marks the diamond for cutting. Sometimes the rough crystal is cut through the middle to create two equal diamonds. Other times, a larger diamond will be cut and a small piece of the crystal will remain, which is called a toppy. The blocker is the lead cutter and supervisor of the diamond throughout the process from the rough material to the polished diamond. His first step is in laying out the diamond in four sections on both the pavilion or bottom of the diamond and the crown or the top of the diamond. This is called four square. His responsibility also includes the placing of the angles on both the pavilion and the crown sections of the diamond to maximize the brilliance and beauty of the diamond. Even with the mapping provided by the sarin machine, cushions are primarily shaped by hand and the process is very delicate and time consuming. The blocker uses an angle gauge to help him with creating the angles. Once the initial process has been completed, the blocker then divides the initial four square facets and now we have eight or eight square. Thus the blocker has now created eight of the facets. He has also created the proper angles as well as placing the facets for the initial stages of the symmetry. We now introduce you to the Brillianteer. The Brillianteer's main job is to place the remaining facets on the diamond and create both the dispersion and scintillation that gives the diamond its beauty. The scintillation is defined by the movement of the light as the diamond moves back and forth on a hand or in a ring. Once the facets have been placed on the diamond, the Brilliant Deer finishes the polishing of the diamond on the fine wheel. Previously, when starting the cutting process, it was placed on the rough edge of the cutting wheel and a process called brooding was initiated and is technically the shaping of the diamond. The Brilliant Deer's responsibility also includes the girdling of the diamond. Though we have condensed the manufacturing process to a shortened video, the entire process can take a number of weeks. Basically, the diamond crystal heats up very quickly and cannot remain on the wheel for long stretches of time. As it is important to maximize the beauty of the diamond, the manufacturing process can take up to four weeks or longer. The art of diamond cutting has been modified throughout the centuries, from a foot-driven wheel in ancient times to the use of modern technology. At the end of the day, the skill of the diamond cutter still is the main source of defining the beauty of the diamond. It is their craftsmanship and skill passed down through many generations that provides you, the consumer, with the everyday pleasure and beauty of a diamond.